Sunday forecast includes some strong storms that pummel communities near Madison. The question, though, tonight is are we out of the woods yeah. when it comes to severe weather? And you know who knows the answer? Fish, who's standing by. All right, you guys. The thing is, is things are actually be going to become more unstable. You saw that tornado out to the west. That's where the real instability is. But still, some of that going to be working our way. I'm not talking about a big tornado outbreak, but our severe weather. Uh, parameters going to creep up a little bit as this whole storm system gets closer. This is all that's left from the storms that were rolling through parts of Jefferson and Dodge County. Uh, this is Western Fond du Lac and Green Lake County right now, uh, getting close to Rosendale with a little light rain. Same with parts of Fond du Lac moving towards Oakfield. This is not big at all. But the thing is, we're watching what's going on out to the west, and we have a lot of rain coming. Now, this is going to just be a steady day upon day rain. There will be breaks. But when you roll through a storm and you have a break, another storm, break storm, you get where I'm going with that. That all adds up. So that means we could see a couple inches of rain from tonight all the way through Thursday. We don't need any more rain right now, but looks like plenty is on the way. And not only that, this is Monday. Now, if we refire storms in the afternoon, there's a slight risk that some of these could have some damaging winds, some hail and downpours with it. That's not a guarantee that everyone sees severe weather. It means there's a slight risk that if you see a storm, you could see any of these three things. That again, the best chance going to be tomorrow afternoon. Right now, it's pretty quiet for most of us, where our average high should be 66. Well above that today, Milwaukee 76. It has been cooler by the lake, but look at the 70s and 80s. They're going to be hanging around. And that's the way it is right now. 82 in Fond du Lac, 83 Burlington. If you're right by the lake, it's a little bit cooler at times. Looks like we've hit our new high in Milwaukee of 77. Dew points. This is another thing maybe you're noticing. Some humidity. Haven't seen much of that this year. Dew points in the 60s. You can start to feel that on your skin. So there are the ingredients. A little bit of heat, humidity, and the trigger, which is a low pressure heading our way. There it is right now. You can see the swirl in the atmosphere, but it's a real slow mover. Here's a look at our Viper HD radar. That's all that's left from our storm, but everything out to our west going to get here late tonight into tomorrow morning, then a break then another round. So there is that storm pretty much dying out and we're going to have a severe risk as far as tomorrow is concerned, especially in the afternoon. That's if we can rebound that atmosphere enough. So there's a look at future forecast. That front just going to hang around as long as it does. And this low pressure is in the area. We have to keep in the threat of showers and storms, not consistently, we're going to see a round move through, then a break, round, break. We're seeing a break now for most of us, then thunderstorms again late tonight. Now, as far as tomorrow, any morning thunderstorm ends, then more afternoon storms in 78. See how that's going to roll? That's going to be Monday night, Tuesday, Tuesday night, and Wednesday. So that's the key to take home, you guys. Not consistent rain where it just rains for days. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll see breaks, but there will be storms, and that all adds up to a couple inches. It's a lot of rain. Just what we need.